I am in Gopibad, Dhaka on a beautiful spring morning and I've just spent the morning uh, talking to paralegals who work for a project called Save Flood uh, run by a legal aid institution, Blood, and they're all working to uh, prevent child marriage. It was a fascinating conversation and I learned many things which resonate with what we've been learning from our year-long systematic review. So I just want to talk about a few of them. First, we talked about the role of paralegals, the role of legal education, the role of legal advocacy. Uh, but we landed in a very strange place, which is uh, towards the end, we talked about the importance of schools, the importance of working within schools as trusted institutions. And schools are important for a number of different reasons. One, at the age at which girls are, the, are at the highest risk of um, being married off, um, they're mostly at risk if they're not in school. Uh, so if you can keep them in school, that's an important reason. Much of why girls are being married off, we heard about a few cases that last has had to work with to um, respond to a complaint about child marriage. Um, it has been about the role of poverty, the role of uh, sanctions when there is a child marriage, and all of these are motivations for why a marriage might be prevented, but it's also a motivation for why girls are married off, because there is a promise of getting money. Um, and then schools are also an actual way of engaging girls early enough before they are lost to us and before they are that they become at highest risk. Um, we talked a lot about advocacy, not just with girls, but with their families and with the communities who can potentially play a role. And um, a lot of this came from not resonates the results of the systematic reviews that we've done for WHO to inform guidelines, but it also really came from their experience. Um, at the end of this morning, I can't, uh, I'm so grateful that I heard this from these young paralegals themselves. I've been talking to uh, Munia, Halima, Parzana, Tania. They're all girls who've been involved in various capacities with lots of local organizations. Two of them were um, members of soccer clubs. And um, I think what's really interesting is this is a generation of young women. They're all themselves 18 to 20 year olds who can be a really important network and a really important resource for those of us who are working to uh, prevent child marriage, who are working to change opportunities for girls, to create safe spaces, to create alternatives. And um, I wish them all the best but I'm really just very, very thankful that I had this opportunity.